New tonight as we wrap up 2024 in less than two months and start to plan for the new year. One local city is still trying to figure out what to do with its budget plan going into the new year. But as Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma says, some of the budget issues won't carry over. In August this year, the city of Sunnyside discovered they were in a $4 million deficit. City manager Mike Gonzalez says the city has been chipping away at that amount and now going into 2025, they've cut that amount by more than half. So what I've done up to my tenure is basically we stopped spending and, and we're really trying to save as much as we possibly can. So uh, by the end of the year, basically the rollover of what we call the beginning fund balance should be anywhere between a half million to 800,000. Gonzalez says when it comes to getting the city back on track, it's not just about cutting assets. That's kind of how we got in this problem, you know, with selling assets. And because the problem with selling assets, that it's really a one time uh, revenue. So you have to be really choosy when you have these one time revenues that come in. Gonzalez says they're at the drawing board trying to plan for a better future and have come up with a couple of options. Some of those options include possibly freezing new police officer positions within the Sunnyside Police Department or taking some internal cuts within the city. But Gonzalez says other options up for consideration is closing down some city facilities temporarily. Perhaps we close the community center, which is something obviously we don't want to do, uh, but we may have to. Uh, the other thing we're looking at is do we close the pool because what people don't realize is it can cost anywhere from four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars a year to run the pool and we don't really make much money at all off that. I think I saw uh, we made maybe like eighty thousand dollars in total uh, to run a half million dollar pool so that that's that's definitely not a money making machine. But we know it's a community asset that's important to people. It does mean things will be tight for the city of Sunnyside for a bit. So our goal uh, for 25 is just to save, 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 tighten our belt. So by 2026, we do have a fund balance and we're able to support all these endeavors. But right now, I, I think because of some of the practices in the past, we find ourselves here. Nothing is set in stone yet. Gonzalez says they want to hear from the public before they make a final decision, which will be December 9th. Reporting in Sunnyside, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. Thank you, Monique, for that. Gonzalez says people can come to the next city council meeting on the 25th of this month. So next Monday, it starts at 6 p.m. to give their input on the budget during public comment.